This video clip is to show you how I've um, set up um, uh, deflectors to produce narrow windrows uh, out the back of the harvester for, for burning. Uh, this is my 9750 JD harvester and um, these panels I've had uh, for a number of years now. It's very basic. Uh, as you can see I've removed the chopper but I didn't have to. Uh, these panels fitted in uh, with the chopper still mounted but lifted up out of the road. Um, so this is the this is the panel. It's just been manufactured uh, to sit in there. Um, I'll get the rest of the the equipment on shortly, but um, that's as basic as as it is. Uh, there's a hook there. I'll uh, actually I'll just remove it. it. It's just mounted by this single bolt. And um, it hooks in. You can see the hook there. Just open that bit of round. And the bolt fits in. The bolt fits in there. That's, that's very simple. Well, five minutes ago it was just that single panel that you were looking at. Now I've uh, finished putting all the tin work on. Um, in dry years I've added um, an extra plate. So I haven't measured this distance from here through to here, but I would estimate uh, uh, 500, 550 mils. Uh, that um, in imperial measurement just short of two feet and uh, off the ground it would be about six or seven hundred mils uh, two and a half feet and um, that's it um, as I said in these dry years uh, I add panelling on to get a narrow windrow um, and in this year once that material hits hits these plates deflects down onto the ground it can be narrow as um, 350 millimetres, uh, 14 inches. So it, it can deflect down into a very narrow strip in these lighter years. Um, uh, if I had heavy bulk, I'd, uh, I'd just take uh, this panel and this panel off and uh, these couple of bits of C-section, um, just uh, so it's a bit wider. Uh, I also mount a, um, a camera, a CCTV camera on it. Uh, you can see that there, and that will be looking down just in in this area, uh, because when you stop the harvester, um, you don't want it to accumulate on uh, accumulate material on the ground, and then uh, build up and choke the harvester as you get going. Uh, it's it's well worth. Uh, the money spent just to be able to visualise that uh, when you restart the harvester and make sure it's not plugged. If uh, you want to see uh, the these deflectors in action, uh, I have other clips on the website, and uh, those same clips are on my YouTube channel. So just look around where you found this uh, particular site. Uh, this particular film clip and you're sure to find um, uh, another clip um, with the unit in action and leaving windrows.